several points in there that we're talking about requirements and so forth, and they sound like there should be money attached to it. Are there, what are the financial um, requirements of this? How much will it cost to do these various things that you've just outlined for us? Uh, well, there's certainly, uh, in uh, House Bill 369, there are a number of different pieces that uh, require funding. Um, the first piece is with Medicaid expansion, there is a new payer source for men who are at or below the 137% of the federal poverty level, which will bring to bear a new payer source for addiction treatment for men that currently is not paid for in our system. Secondly, with uh, the health parity, uh, mental health parity direct given by uh, the federal office, there is parity required between mental health treatment and physical health treatment. And that will, again, bring more payment sources online. And then the third piece is a piece that's introduced in the legislation that would require uh, that insurance companies, the Medicaid system, pay for um, recovery treatment for, from opioid addiction. So that's uh, the payment source on the treatment side. And the second piece in that bill is uh, a, rev a, a funding stream for recovery housing. And we're proposing to invest what is probably one of the most substantial investments that we've made in recent years in the mental health and addiction system, $180 million investment in recovery housing for the state of Ohio. What about the court funding? Thank you for reminding me about the specialty uh, drug docket funding. And there's an additional um, nearly $9 million that would go to fund um, this, through the specialty for uh, specialty dockets certified by the Supreme Court would fund case managers within those systems. Could you elaborate a little more on the housing since that is a big chunk? Where does that 180 come from? Uh, as a result of the Medicaid expansion, there's an estimated to be a $400 million uh, additional uh, expense that will not have to occur because of the Medicaid expansion, and the $180 million would come from there. And how would that work, the housing part? Is that distributed to various through mental health boards, or who, who would control that? Uh, right now, it would be um, distributed through uh, the local Adams boards. They would be required to have uh, some kind of recovery housing in each and every county that they serve the residents there. Uh, the funding stream is 50% uh, match for the uh, entitlement counties defined by HUD and a 90% match from the state for all other counties that don't have recovery housing currently available. Do you happen to know that last I was just going to ask that, how many counties don't have recovery housing now? Do you have any idea on that? I would think a lot of them don't. In some cases, it's difficult to ascertain because some of the re recovery housing is private. But I can tell you that as we toured the state, one of the key complaints that we heard from the people of the state of Ohio is that they didn't have access to treatment when they wanted to get better. And a large part of that is the recovery housing. Any other questions?